Hi, I'm Clara Chua. I was a Korean government scholar from 2012. I started doing K-pop, singing to dancing to K-pop since I was 13 years old. I actually fell in love with Korea around 10 years ago. Hallyu. I think that is a very influential power that has taken like the whole of ASEAN. There's a lot of people in my life that I meet friends with through K-pop. Most of them have started learning basic Korean just because of you know, Korean songs, dramas, and shows. It's no longer just a phase, where it's, it's part of our life. Korean might be better than my Mandarin now. Because <laughs> I seldom use Mandarin. Everybody knows BTS, right? A Korean song, and they've become number one in the Billboard charts. And that says something about K-pop, really. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, I think Korean people, the chong, the people-to-people -people relationship, People, the tone, like the passion, like I really felt that deeper layers of emotions and nuances. And they offered us like soju makoli and the food, like made me feel that my trip there was very heartwarming. A very unique kind of uh, characteristic of Korean people, of Korean culture, that kind of very deep relationship you can form. 30 years of collaboration between RK and ASEAN is really giving a significant impact. The relationship has, of course, grown by strength and strength over the last 30 years. I think that's a great opportunity for Korea to actually look towards ASEAN to diversify. You know, ASEAN has 600 million people. It's a huge market, it's a big market. The total trade reached 153 billion last year, and we hope to reach 200 billion by 2020. We are always uh, an active partner to uh, you know, promote denuclearization in the Korean Peninsula. ASEAN support a peace process in uh, the Korean Peninsula. Peace and prosperity for everyone. Congratulations, 30th anniversary of the ASEAN ROK relations. Many milestones and many developments that has already been achieved. The progress in terms of the relations, uh, I think we have seen that from uh, one level to a strategic level and now to a more comprehensive uh, partnership. Korea ASEAN Commemorative Summit uh, in Busan. So, uh, for the success of uh, the summit, uh, I would like to propose a toast. Partnership for Peace, Dongheng. Partnership for Peace. Prosperity for People.